Let's have some fun with Stable Diffusion on a NVIDIA RTX 6000 Ada Lovelace Edition. This is a 48 gigabyte GPU, so what do you need that much RAM on a GPU for? Well, we'll see. Stable Diffusion can do some really nice things with it. So I'm using Automatic 11111, which is a web GUI for this. This is all running in Windows. There's really no reason to run this in Linux if, unless you want to just go for complete cool kid factor. But I will probably actually demonstrate this in Linux as well and maybe benchmark them right up to each other. This is not using WSL2 so I expect the performance would be decent between them but let's let's find out in a future video. For now, let's see some of the neat things you can do with 48 gigabytes. Now, I've got a couple of models loaded here. I'm going to use Realistic Vision. That's one of my favorites. What do you like for other models that you might run here? And let's, let's just jump right into it. I am going to give it a fairly simple prompt. I'm just saying Galaxy I don't know, at the bottom of the ocean. No idea what that'll do. But let's go ahead and generate it. This is just using default parameters, 512 by 512. I can't use scroll bar. And let's generate it. So it's generating. And that's really very fast. That was pretty near instant. What is really advantageous with the 48 gigabytes of RAM is you can start to up this batch count and you can also really increase the resolution and it's not so bad to actually um, deal with. So let's go crazy, 2048 by 2048. We're gonna leave the batch size alone because that's gonna really push it. So we're gonna generate this. This takes a little bit longer. And we'll see, it's, it's generating, it's preparing. You can also go to your command prompt here where it's actually running from. The, if you're not familiar with Automatic, what it's basically doing is it launches a web browser, just like a, a lot of the, the other ones do as well. I like Automatic, what, what, what do all of you use as well? So here it's running, estimated time is around eight minutes. So I haven't tried this a lot on this GPU. What do you think of 2048 square and, well, now five minutes. So let's fast forward right through this. You can also watch what is going on with my GPU. GPU is 80%-ish utilized, using a fair amount of that RAM of my 48 gigabytes that I have. Temperature is up there, but not horrible. What does it feel like in back? It's not quite in hair dryer mode yet, but getting there. Two minutes, 20 seconds, we will fast forward through this. Also pointing out, this is full 2048 by 2048 native. We are not upscaling. You could upscale that even further if you so desire. This is making Stable Diffusion actually generate this resolution. Okay, and it's complete. You can open this I'm going to actually save it to my desktop. And there you can see it in full 4K glory on my machine, my monitor, scaled out to 100%. So this is, this is a very high resolution generation. The other thing that you can do with this is certainly up. If we take this back to 512, We can now up the batch size and we can do a much bigger batch count. So we'll do we'll do a hundred of those. So eight hundred of those in total. And if we generate this, it's estimating around it's it's shooting through these very quickly, as you can see. It's estimating to get through my entire eight hundred images around around twenty minutes. Even with 48 gig, you can certainly blow it out. If I were to put it to 24 by 2048 by 2048, with a batch size of eight, just 
doing one. It's not going to make it anyway. If I click generate, this will blow up. You can see not enough memory. So you can even see the dreaded not enough memory error with the size of a GPU. Thanks for watching the video, and if you're interested in other things related to artificial intelligence, uh, please subscribe to my channel and give the video a like if it was useful. What other things would you like to maybe see me try on an NVIDIA RTX 6000 ADA? Also going to be working with a system soon that has dual H100s, so let me know what you might like to see out of that beast of a machine. More on that soon, and thank you to Exact for giving me some hardware to try some of the stuff out on.